It's no secret that I love my iPhone and my iPad. I'm a big Apple user because of VoiceOver, which is their built-in screen reader. But because of a lot of different reasons, VoiceOver doesn't always read things exactly the way you would want it to. However, there is a way to change the VoiceOver label so it'll read it out loud and make sense whenever you're going through your phone. What's up, VIPs? Welcome to my channel. And yeah, I love my iPhone. It's great, it's wonderful. But when I'm going through with VoiceOver, sometimes it doesn't always read things exactly the way it's supposed to. Oh sure, it gets a lot of things exactly right and it reads articles and all kinds of stuff, but sometimes on a button or a menu or something like that, it just doesn't always get it right. But the good news is there is a way to change the voiceover label and I'm gonna show you how to do that in today's video. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Derek and I help people just like you to discover life after sight loss. On this channel, we do product reviews, life advice, encouragement, how-tos, and so much more. So I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell icon so that you don't miss another single video. Now, as I said, there is a way to change the voiceover label and it's pretty simple. It's a two finger double tap and hold and it brings up a menu and then you can change the label. Now, one thing to remember before I demonstrate this is that it's only changing the voiceover label. It's not actually changing the name of the app or the button or the menu or something like that in the settings. It's only changing what voiceover reads it as. So for example, if you've got one that is called, uh, let's say I, I had an app one time called uh, Total Connect and it read it as TC 2.0. Now on the home screen, it said TC 2.0. Well, it had to do with my security system and so forth, and I wanted it to read security system. So I changed it to that. So when I went to that app, it said security system. But on the home screen, it would still say TC 2.0 because it doesn't actually change it in the, you know, nature of the app. It just changes the voiceover label. But since we're voiceover users, that's okay with us. So let's go ahead and jump into the iPhone, change the label, see what it's all about, and that way you can know how to change the label when you come back around. So come on in, let's jump into the phone. All right guys, so here we are in the iPhone, and I'm on my home screen, and I'm going to change the label of one of these apps. Cram. So I have an app here called Cram. Now this is a website, cram.com, where you can create flashcards for studying, you know, math and science and all kinds of different stuff. You can create your own flashcards or use uh, flashcards from other people in subjects. It's a great little website. The app is pretty accessible, so, you know, self-plug there. So, files. all right, Cram. I'm going to change it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to two-finger, double-tap, and hold. It's going to bring up a menu, so let's do that. Okay, so you heard it make those sounds, doop, 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 and then it brought up this menu. So now I'm going to go down here. Done. Delete. M. Cap C. Okay, so now I'm going to label it something different. Okay, so I'm going to two finger double tap and not hold for uh, dictation. Okay, flashcards. Inserting flashcards. Okay, so then I'm going to go here. Save button. We'll go to save, which you could right flick if you wanted to. Save. FaceTime. Okay, so now I'm going to find it again. Flashcards. Now it's called flashcards. And remember, this is just the voiceover label. It's still technically the Cram app, but now when I go over it, flashcards. it reads it as flashcards so that I know what it is. You know, obviously I knew what Cram was, but if you had an app that, you know, was a little bit different or whatever, you could read it as something that would be recognizable to you. You could also use this on menus and buttons and so forth, but that's just a simple way to do it. Two finger, double tap and hold, wait for the sounds, the menu comes up and you change it to whatever you want. That's pretty simple stuff to change the voiceover label on pretty much anything you have. So there you go, guys. Just a quick way to change the voiceover label on the home screen. You can also do this with buttons inside of an app. Maybe it's not labeled. Maybe you have tabs at the bottom and it says tab one, tab two, something like that, and you want to change it. Obviously, you're going to need to know what that tab is first, but you can do the same thing, the two finger, double tap and hold. It'll bring up that menu and you can change it to whatever makes sense to you. By the way, this video is part of the voiceover VoiceOver 101 series that I'm doing with myself and my good buddy Sam from The Blind Life. So I'm going to link my playlist down 
at the bottom and his as well in the description so you can check out all of the videos that we've done and get a little more insight on voiceover on your iPad and iPhone. So my question for you today is this, what's one thing inside of your iPhone or iPad that you've either used voiceover to change a label or you'd like to use voiceover to change a label? I'd love to hear about it and I know others would as well, so let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with somebody that you know, and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss another single video. Thanks for watching wherever you are, and until next time, remember that sight loss isn't the end, it's just the beginning. My name is Derek Daniel from lifeaftersightloss.com, and I'll see you in the next one.